Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. A terrific audience. Well, ladies and gentlemen, right now we have with us a gentleman who has appeared on Saturday Night Live, Johnny Carson. And this evening, of course, he's here with us on the Magic Palace. Wild, weird, and wonderful. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, from Los Angeles, Ricky J. Thank you. Many of you know I am the man who correctly predicted the winning ticket in the 1903 Cuban National Lottery. Thank you very much. <laughs> However, this evening I've decided to do an effect with ordinary playing cards. And to do that, I'd like to borrow a few people from the audience. May I see anyone who'd like to come up on stage and help? Why, well, do please come up from the audience and help. Thank you. If one of you would we'll come over here and one of you will be over there, thank you. This is a courageous thing for these two young women to do, and I thank you very much. What is your name, please? Would you try to speak up? Susan Mitchell. Susan Mitchell. Ricky J. <laughs> and you are? Vicky. Vicky? Still Ricky. <laughs> Vicky. Susan. I'm going to involve you in a test based on extrasensory perception, ESP, and the like, but to determine who it will be that enters into the first test, I would like to ask you both to raise your hand in the form of rock, hammer, or scissors when I count to three. One, two, three, quickly. And once again, I am the winner as these two people have moved much too late. <laughs> the odds against me winning? 16 to one, thank you very much. The next time, a little more quickly, no cheating, please, ladies. One, two, three, quickly. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Two sets of forked fingers in a bold political gesture. The odds against this occurring, 79 to 1. Thank you very much. <laughs> However, you've both been using the same symbol for each time, so I will declare that you are the winner, Susan. And of course, Vicki, you get to select the card, make it a free choice, any card from the deck. <laughs> I want you to actually select one card from the deck, free choice. <laughs> Perhaps we should reconsider. I'll tell you what, hold up your left thumb, don't worry, I won't be insulted. Good. With your left thumb, I want you to push into the book uh, as if it were a book, into the deck of cards. You could do that any place at all, but just do it in one spot. You could obviously see many different cards. I'm going to ask you to do it once, so you see one card just for a second, and remember that card. Susan, I will ask you to look at my eyes. This will prove conclusively I am not a thumb fetishist. All right, you look into the deck, Vicky. You look into my eyes. I wanted you to actually open the deck until you could see one card. You're nodding your head. What does that mean? I do. You've done that already? You've remembered a card that quickly? You really remembered it? Yes. Would you do me a big favor? Mm -hmm. Forget it. <laughs> Suddenly, the woman moves like lightning. <laughs> Remember how slowly she played the other game? I was not prepared. <laughs> Try again and give the kid a break. Susan, you look in my eyes. You've looked into the deck now, Vicky. One of these cards is known to you. You remember it, correct? Mm -hmm. Good. Do you know how to shuffle cards? No. Good. Perfect. Would you shuffle, please? <laughs> <laughs> One of the few times in my life I am protected from any harm whatsoever. <laughs> well, you're shuffling the cards. What are you doing? <laughs> look at this. This woman has ruined my entire act, and she's laughing. <laughs> if you say you don't know how to shuffle cards, you immediately start shuffling. It's all right, I'll be pretending to look through them. <laughs> I've taken so much of your time, good people, that I will try to find the selected card, not by looking through the deck, but by doing something truly unusual. I will have one card jump out of this deck and land in my outstretched hand as if a propelled. <laughs> look, one card, and I believe this was the card which you looked at, the three of hearts. Why do you seem so unsure? But is there some doubt in your mind? You did look at this card. Yes. When? When I put my thumb there. The first time or the second time? Uh, the first time. The first time? Yes. This is, in fact, the card which I asked you to forget. Yes. Well, a fine job you've done. What is... <laughs> what is... The... Listen, what is the card I asked you to remember? The two of hearts. Not the three, but the two. All right, watch the three in midair, because that's now the two of us. Uh, 
obviously well on my way to the luckiest night of my life. Would you shuffle the cards quickly and I may have a small table, a stand table that I use uh, for this particular effect. Some of you may recall this table from last night. Okay, would you shuffle the cards quickly and then we will be dealing a number of cards onto the table. I'll tell you what, I will start with you, Vicky, and have you deal 12 cards onto the small table. One. <laughs> Thank you. And going up, out loud, please. That's four, now five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Many of you will notice she's not even looking at them. A job, well done. <laughs> Thank you. Twelve cards and only twelve. I will be using six with you, Susan, and six with you, Vicky. I will recount three, six, nine, and twelve. I will be showing you six cards. What I'm going to ask you to do, and this is quite a difficult effect, I'm going to ask you to remember one of those six cards, get the mental picture of that card, and this time, please, do not change your mind. Once you begin to concentrate on that card, keep it in your mind, okay? This is card, oh, by the way, I will try to use exactly the same intonation, exactly the same style in proffering these cards in your direction, so I can't be subconsciously influencing you, though I will be. That's perfectly clear. I'll commence card number one. This is card number two. This is card number three. This is card number four. This is card number five. Hold up your left hand, please. This is six palm up. Your left hand, place the right hand on top. Hold on to them. The remaining six cards, may I have your hand? Count out loud, Vicky, thumb down. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Place your hand on top gently. I will now cause one card to go from here over to there. I believe that is now done. Watch, instead of six cards, only five. One, two, three, four, five, six. I appear foolish. Count with me out loud. One, two, three, four, five, six. You must concentrate or I come out very badly. Oh, I forgot the most important move. Just a minute. Gone. Yes, instead of six cards, may I have them, please? Only five. One, two, three, four, and five. Vicky, have I been near you at all? No. Have I danced the fandango on your wrist? No. Have I done the hideous gavotte of war on your spine? No. Have I done a lobster quadrille on your arm? No. Have I tickled your risibility? No. Maybe a little. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a woman I have not approached at all, count out loud one at a time, one on top of the other. How many do you have? So far, so good. Would you fan those cards out? Pick them up so you can see their faces. For the first time, Susan, would you mention the one card you were thinking of? Would you hand me the seven of hearts, the one card which has traveled from here to there? That is the seven of hearts, and I thank you very much. I thank you. Thanks. Thanks. 